it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am here in my sofa and I have just returned home from the craft fair at West Point. Um, every September and every January, February there is a craft fair there um, organized by different organizers but yeah this is the September one so I went today and this is my haul. So I just wanted to show you what I bought. Yes it's going to be crochet related but yes it's also not going to be crochet related. Um, I do other uh, crafts as well and sometimes they get the better of me and I need to do something else but crochet so once in a while I have a day just sewing or an evening just doing something else or when I need to as well when I need to make um, you know curtains or I need to make a cushion cover I do that sewing as well so I got some various things um, for those crafts I don't know whether you can see but my cat Layla no she's just out of the picture no okay <laughs> let's get started okay before I open anything it's not all for me there is one or two things there for my mum and for my friend as well okay so don't <laughs> right okay so yes one of the first shops I always go to is black sheep wools they do a great selection of wool they have packs as well so you buy the pack with the pattern and this time I noticed online that they had a new blanket and it's called cash cash bar and this is the blanket so I got a pack for myself and for my mum okay so when you order from them online you also get the bag so that's what I got so I know that when I go there I get the pack I get the bag and then I use the bag to put other things in it as well so that was quite handy because even without the wool this bag is still heavy so yeah let's get the other pack out because this one is heavy as well without the wool <laughs> okay so ooh, ooh. yeah so this is my mum's pack I will be sending that to her in the post so she is already quite happy because she's expecting that <laughs> And once again, there's a lot in this bag already. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to have to, um, you know, go into it. And what I touch is what I am going to show you. Um, this is going to be a cover for my headboard in my bed. Now, I don't have a headboard. I have just a bed mattress. Um, but because these days I am in bed often sitting up crocheting I have put behind me like a, um, a foam uh, it has got a cover on it it's purple it's fine there's nothing wrong with it but I just would like something else so I thought I would have big leaves and when I noticed this background of the leaves look so you've got the leaves and then you've got that wooden background isn't that just fabulous so like I said I also sew so I am going to make a huge cover for that um, it might not completely fit so I'll put an extra bit at the back or something I'll, I'll make it work um, but yeah so I I will show you a picture so when I'm in bed crocheting I've got this sort of you know soft not soft but a foam behind me nice and um, you know soft dish better than leaning against the cold wall um, so I am going to turn this with this I'm going to turn it into a nice headboard I might even tuft it a little bit I don't know we'll see we will see how far I am going to take it <laughs> but yeah when I saw I said to, um, to my friend because I went with a friend to the craft fair um, we hadn't seen each other for a little while so it was good to catch up and everything um, and I said to her I'm looking for a fabric with big leaves and seconds later she'd spotted this and I said oh that is just amazing I love that wooden 
background so yeah that's what I wanted of course I forgot the measurement so I had to text my husband oh. <laughs> never mind and then here we have what I call a bag in a bag so in crochet with my crochet I always have projects on the go and I put them in a bag but yes you can put them in one of these my mum does she puts them in these bags but somehow yes they're nice enough but I just like a nice bag so this is a kit to make a bag and look can you see again that wood grain so I will show you the bag uh, when I finished it it will take me a couple of weeks or weekends or whatever um, but I I need project bags basically so um, that's why I got this kit this was a very reasonably priced kit I also always make sure I get the card of the people that I buy it from I will um, link most of the things below <coughs> of which I have the card <coughs> sorry and this bag so it's got all the material but also it has a lot of embellishments look even a little heart to hang to suspend from the bag the ribbons buttons to put on even pom-pom ribbon <laughs> so yeah so um, I will show you this when it's finished as well or it will be a project bag at one point and you will see it and then here the explanation of how to do it so very interesting um, I have a second one of these because I'm going to send this to my best friend in Belgium um, because I just think I want her to have a little surprise and she likes sewing as well I know she's got a very fancy machine um, I just have a plain plain um, machine sewing machine uh, so she'll be able to you know have a go at this as well so I thought that would be a nice um, bag for, for both of us to have so let me just put this back in the bag there we go so that's that I shall put that there so we can keep it in view but <clears throat> this project bag thing started last year so there was one particular stand and they had all these lovely bags and last year I was like no I'm going to keep with my craft that I'm doing at the moment because you know if you go to a craft fair obviously there's lots of crafts there's paper crafts there's textile crafts there's you know yarn crafts and it doesn't stop there you know you just so I tend to buy for the craft that I'm in at that point in time so years ago I was doing lots of patchwork so that's when I was buying lots of material now today I had a little bit of a deviation from that principle I I wanted fabric for my thing my bed cover my headboard so I, I needed that so I wanted to make that so I thought yes let's get that because that's a project I can do um, and I had this in my head I wanted to make that make it prettier um, so last year I had a look at this stand with all these bags and I thought oh that would make a lovely project bag one of the bags was just perfect and I didn't get it because I thought well it's going to take me so and so long to do that I've got to get the sewing machine out I've got to blah, blah 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 I am into crochet at the moment so today I'm in a different type of mood yes I'm into crochet but for the whole year I have been kicking myself that I didn't have that particular bag because it was the perfect project bag so yes I bought that bag this one here because I loved it because of the wood grain and then it turned out that I found this with the wood grain as well and that is going to be a project bag okay I have more projects on the go than I can count so I need bags for them it's my excuse and this is the bag I saw last year so it's like a bucket bag 
So it's a round bag inside our pockets and then here there are pockets as well on the outside, lots of appliques. Now I'm not sure I'm going to do all the appliques or I might just take my time doing them because I think it's going to be worth doing them. It's called flower bucket. Um, and yeah, so it has everything in it to do the decorations, to make the bag, to do the lining. Let's have a look. And then, oh, look, it's a real picture even that they've put on. Yeah, so there's a picture. It's got the list of ingredients. <laughs> and yeah, oh, look, it's all the patterns that you need for the appliques and instructions as well. So yeah, and the lady let me take pictures of every applique part because there were six pockets on the outside and that's where the applique, appliques go. So, so she let me take pictures um, so I could make them uh, the way they have done because you can only see two of them in color. Well, actually she told me to do that. So, so yeah, so um, this is when it all started. So I wanted this, um, I like this, I like this fabric look it says happiness is homemade can you read it or is it upside down or is it back to front yeah happiness is homemade so yeah I think it's going to be a perfect project bag so yeah so this was my plan today I wanted to buy this and maybe another one but then when I saw this one you know I was glad I bought this one and then I went back to the store and got another one for my friend because I loved the grain um, the wood grain so much but yes so this is the one I'm going to make and then that's not all <laughs> another bag <laughs> okay um, I'm sorry but this fabric was just too cute look at that look at the trees so they had the bag made up there um, and they didn't really have a kit but they had yeah chuck it about they had the pattern so I got the pattern and then she told me um, or she measured out for me sorry I'm not <laughs> Um, she measured out for me the pa the fabric that I would need and so there's another kit here for me to make um, like I said I need project bags it's as simple as that let's have a look in here it's a nice envelope to put that in making the bag yeah carefully along the bold lines or oh, there'll, there'll be a pattern in there oh look at that and the thing is once you've got the pattern yeah once you've got the pattern you can and you've got fabric you can make that you know you can make that bag again so I have got quite a bit of fabric um, from when I was doing patchwork um, but of course you know you sort of I keep it and once in a while it comes in handy so I don't think it's like a, a loss you know it's a material that I've got and I still use some of it so that's fine I don't mind uh, so once in a while like I said the sewing machine comes out and I make things so last night before I went to the craft show so you know last night I got my sewing machine out because tomorrow you guessed it no crochet none <laughs> all sewing I want to make at least this weekend I want to make at least one of those three bags that I have bought okay just to make sure that I'm making them okay and then when we get back what's this empty bag when we get back to crochet I shall be using this lovely yarn and the colors are a little bit out of my comfort zone because you know how I like blue. This yarn here, Alice Burkham Batik. I'm going to turn that into a cowl because I need an easy scarf for when I go into town. Um, 
shopping I always go shopping on foot and it's just everywhere my scarf's falling off it's there it's there I need something to shoop on and gone okay so that's what I thought I would do uh, with these it's 100% acrylic and it's um, 210 meters so it's um, Aaron I think is it Aaron I think the guy said it was Aaron it's from Neil the Knit um, so yes I got three that'll be enough that'll make it high enough um, I'm just have to think of the pattern but yeah you will f see this soon on YouTube on my channel so that will be that and this is empty good <laughs> uh, now the bags um, they all come without wadding I want to make it stronger than what it is I want the bag to stand up so I got some of this fusible foam stabilizer I hope it's going to do what I think it's going to do but it looks quite stiff it feels quite stiff I'm not going to open it because it's nice and sealed and compact like this um, so I will be putting the, and I think it's enough for the three bags I will be putting that in between the lining and the outside of the bag because I like my like I said that way it will stand up nicely and it will make a nice bag so that's empty so all this we basically bought in the morning so we arrived there straight to black sheep wools then uh, then the bags and then the other little bits and pieces we saw this fabric then we went to the car put everything in because it was quite a lot already um, and we had a picnic lunch with us now the reason why we do that is because a that money that you spend on having your lunch there is like two or three balls of wool yeah so you might as well bring your own lunch and buy through two or three balls of wool there we go B, you waste a lot of time queuing. Oh my word, we went back in and the queue was out the door of the restaurant. So we didn't want to waste time in there. And three, it's so loud in that restaurant. And also the quality of the food is not all that. So, you know, to wait a long time, to sp spend a lot of money, sp waste a lot of time. Yeah, I said that, waste a lot of time. Um, you know, sit in the noise. We would rather just go out look I've got my stamp still it would rather just go out sit in the car for like 10-15 minutes have our lunch have a sandwich and go back in and you're all zen you know you're all quiet you're all nice you've been away from all the hustle and bustle and you're back ready to go for another walk around so then <clears throat> once we bought all the stuff that we had already on our list <coughs> we just went for the little things and I just got two more things which I just fancied not on my list just something that I just really liked and I just yeah so what I got was three uh, fat quarters I think they're called and this one is lavender this one is purple with bees and this one is just gorgeous and it was the only one left because my friend wanted it and I said nope you can't have it I'm having it <laughs> look at how pretty that is I mean there was another one but with a lighter background it wasn't the same this one is just so pretty and I think these three together wouldn't they make lovely lavender bags very simply just cut them in four sew them together you know so yeah, that's something that wasn't on my list, but that I just fancied having, that I just wanted to have. And if nothing else, it will go into my uh, fabrics collection and it will just, you know, be used at a later time. But I just loved these. My friend got really nice purpley with bees and everything, sort of um, what they call a sliced cake, I think, I think, you know, the squares on top of each other. Um, for making a bag as well because she had to buy a pattern and they didn't have the kits anymore so she was going to use those for the fabric for that bag and then I got this really 
I just wanted it. I can't say anything else. And you are going to see it in a YouTube video. I have got plans for it. It's a tiny, tiny bird cage. <laughs> I am going to make a tiny, tiny bird for it. <laughs> and I will, um, yeah, it opens up, yeah. Um, and I think I will put it in a plant or something so it looks nice. So this is from Tilda. I don't know whether uh, you know that. I used to make Tilda dolls, so I thought it would be a nice little sort of thing to have. So there we go. You will see this appear. Okay, so that's it. I also like to collect some of the cards or leaflets from the people that I buy from so we know which ones they are and then I sat down and I made a card look because there's workshops as well I made a little Christmas card isn't that cute so there we go <sighs> yeah so that was my day I'm going to have to send this off to my mum I'm going to send one of these off to my friend so it's not all mine. <laughs> um, I will be making my cover for my headboard uh, quite soon. Um, I'm hoping to do that. Yeah, I may, maybe do, do that this weekend and I will hopefully be able to post you a picture or something of it. And yeah, so I have all these bags to make. Uh, maybe I should um, start with a simple one and then work my way up to this one. This one is going to be a challenge, I think, because it's got piping and it's got all kinds of things. But I think it's going to be worth it because, like I said, it's a bucket bag. It's a round one. And I think it's going to be perfect to put my bags of wool in. Bags of wool. <laughs> all I can think of is bags, bags, bags. My balls of wool in my projects my crochet projects <laughs> so like i said this weekend no crochet next weekend we'll get back to crochet this weekend we're sewing so i ended up going back to the fair on the sunday so this was the stand where i bought that um, fabric to make my bag stiff and these were the girls and the lady uh, who were serving there and it was obviously their business and oh my word they were so helpful and they helped me out for what I needed and guess what the mother there she knew my channel she had made something from a video of mine I was like I was completely flabbergasted because I just yeah she had actually made something from the video she could describe what she made so yeah it was unbelievable anyway this is their stand they had lovely fabrics and lovely examples as well so yeah um next time i will definitely go and look for some fabrics at their stand thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video this is all i got at the fair and i will see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.